welcome to another of our video podcast. Today we're going to be discussing some of the things related to fuel filtration on Ford and International 6 and 6.4 liter diesel engines. Specifically, we're going to be covering the differences between our products and the original equipment service product, or as I will call it throughout the video, OES product. Fuel filtration for these engines is performed in two stages, by the utilization of a primary and secondary filter. The first filter removes larger size contaminants in water. The second filter removes smaller size contaminants only. Our topic today focuses solely on changes the OES suppliers made to the primary filter. Just a quick word about the differences between ours and the OES product. The first thing you'll see is the filters make use of different filtration media. As I have mentioned earlier, the primary filter is responsible for removing both solid and liquid contaminant. In this case, liquid contaminant would be water. We see that the OES product, both first and second generation, makes use of an outer wrap. It uses this outer wrap to remove water from the fuel. This outer wrap does create surface tension, and because of the surface tension, the OES product requires a hole be placed in the end cap. Both in the first and second generation product, it is placed in the end cap. Our media does not create this surface tension, and as a result, we do not require the hole in the end cap. If we take a look at our primary filter, we see that it has a rubber seal for sealing on the inside diameter, no hole in the end cap, and a key so it fits into the housing properly and orients itself. This is the same design that we have uh, used since we placed the filter in the marketplace. Next we look at the first generation OES product. We see that it seals on the inside diameter with plastic. We see a hole in the end cap, and we see it has a key as well for orienting itself into the housing when installed. Last, we take a look at the second generation OES product. We see that the sealing surface has been relocated from the inside diameter to the outside diameter. A plastic seal has been replaced by a rubber O-ring. We still see a hole in the end cap to facilitate the bleeding of air following being placed in service. Okay, to recap what we have said. The OAS product has changed from first generation to second generation. This is a running change. As these are used up, they will be replaced by the second generation product. Our product has not changed. Our product, because of the design and the style of media that we use, does not require a hole in the end cap to remove air after being serviced. Our filter works in the applications for which it is recommended a fact that has been proven by extensive testing in the laboratory and in the field. We thank you for tuning in and welcome you to access our other offerings online that include technical bulletins, video podcasts, and more.